Alright, hello everybody. So welcome to our next session in our Tableau tutorial series. In this lesson we're going to be talking about Tableau line graphs and how we can apply the concepts learned in the textbook of pre-attentive attributes and visual cues and applying them to our Tableau dashboard visualizations. So let's get started. So we're going to load Tableau 10.5. And we're going to load our life expectancy data set, which will be available on Blackboard. So this data set depicts the life ex average life expectancies of dozens of countries between 1960 and 2009. So the first thing you want to do, as always, with, uh, with uploading data to Tableau, is to make sure that Tableau predicts the data, the data, field, the data types of your data fields correctly. So you can see here that the the years, the year progression of the data, Tableau predicted that as a whole number. But we want that as a categorical, a categorical value because we're going to be plotting this on the x-axis. So we want that as type string. We're going to change that from a measure to a dimension in a moment after we check out the rest of the data fields to make sure everything is okay. We are going to rename this because this is obviously not country name. So we're going to click here and we're going to rename this to years, which makes more sense. And then we're going to check to make sure everything else is okay. Something good. I'm going to change this to a whole number. I'll change that back to a measure. We'll do that. Let's go to our sheet. And let's change those. Let's change these data fields here. So we want the years to be a dimension. So let's go down here. Change data types. Change convert to dimension. Yes. And we want we want world to be a measure. Okay, completed that. And so now what we want to do is we want to depict or want to visualize this data, the life expect the average life expectancy for a select number of countries between 1960. 2009 and the trend, the patterns and trends of how those values changed over the over this 50 year span. And so we bring years to the columns because that's what we want on the x axis is the years 1960 to 2009. All right. And so now the measure of values over to the rows. So now Tableau defaults to a bar graph, but we're going to go over to the Mars card and change that to a line graph. And here you can see you have this nice so it has potent, a lot of potential to be a solid line graph. You can see here that there's a lot more countries than there are lines. Maybe it's not immediately apparent. But you're going to see here that the measure values down here only goes to Bolivia. And since this is an ABC order, it only goes down to about here. So the measure values about measure values only allows up to 20 measures in, for one visualization. And so I want to select which countries I want to visualize. So ultimately, the goal is to compare the U.S. average life expectancy and the world average life expectancy to other countries and see how they stack up. Let's go back here. Keep Afghanistan and Albania. And let's just go down. Let's start picking, haphazardly picking countries. Let's see, we want Barbados. Bring that over here, and you're going to see the lot. You're going to see the data pop up on the screen as I choose the countries. 
Let's see. I'm going to try to get all seven continents represented on here. Cute Faraday, Chad, Chad on here. Yeah, Chad on here. Croatia, Game of Thrones is, is filmed there quite a bit. Ethiopia, Germany. Let's see, Iceland? Sure. Indonesia, Asian representation. Let's see, Jamaica. Madagascar, interesting. Norway. They gotta be up there. Saudi Arabia. Where's United States? And I'll do the world as well. And Vietnam. Alright, so we have our data on here. It might not be all 20, but this will suffice for now. These countries. We have our data, and it's kind of hard to see where the United States lies in all this. And so this is from the readings. This is where it comes. Where it's where this is where everything ties together. Is that you want to have since we're trying to compare the world and the the United States to the world average and to every other country on this in this visualization, we're going to make the United States stand out compared to all the other countries. And we're going to make the United States and the world stand out. So in order to do that, we're going to bring the measure names to the color. Because we want to highlight the measure names are going to be world, Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria. We want, the, we want these colored. So we're going to bring that to color. And Tableau has a predefined color spectrum that it applies to all the, all the countries. And... So now we are, we're going to change this by going to edit colors. And we're going to give every country except for the United States and the world a gray color. The world will give orange, the United States will give blue, everybody else gets gray so it can stand out. Apply. Then we're going to bring the United States to the top and the world to the top, so then there's no, they're not hidden behind the, all the countries. And the world has these dots here because there's no values between. The world data was initially done every five in five year increments. 1960, 65, 70, 75, and then after 1980. Uh, it was reported every year, so that's why there's the dots. But the data still applies nonetheless, and you can still see the the trend even during a five-year period. Okay. And so now we're going to let's let's clean this graph up by adding a y-axis, which is average life expectancy. Specify that. And we're also going to make a nice little title for this, which is uh, expectancy. Various countries. I think it's 1969 to maybe 1960. 2009, yes. Perfect. And then we're also going to clean up the grid lines and eliminate the X and Y axis. So we're going to go here, click on which one of the axes, and click Format. This will bring you to the Format page. And so let's go here, let's go to lines, which is, a, which is towards the right, and we're right to the left of the fields. Selection. And we're going to go over to 
we're, we're going to go over to rows, and we're going to eliminate those grid lines. So the rows represent all the all the formatting like that is horizontal to the horizontal to the visualization. Click none, and the grid lines went away. For the rows, hit access access rulers is for the is for the axes baselines, and then the y axis goes away. And we'll do the same thing for the columns. And then the x-axis baseline goes away. We still have these ticks. We'll also remove those. Same thing for the rows. The zero lines. I have to remove the zero lines as well. And now we're set to go. And so that's a really good... That's the important point to know here is the formatting for the rows and the columns. The grid lines, zero lines, axis rulers, and axis ticks. Set those to none for the rows and columns options. So what we can also do is, you rem if you remember from the reading, that the bar graphs, they need to have a, they need a st the y-axis needs to start at zero because you're comparing the relative heights. But here, with line graphs, you're only comparing um, relative data. So you're only comparing from, and, you're, and the focus is really on the trends of the data, not where it starts from. So to make this data, make this visualization a little bit more compelling, and have, we'll try to eliminate some white space, also for, for clarity as well. And so people can just focus in on the, on the trends and not so much this white space. So we're going to click Edit Access, double-click the y-axis, Hit edit, edit, edit access. And then we're going to go to tick marks. So we're going to go to fixed. And then instead of every 10 years like it is right now, we're going to go every 20 years. And we're also going to start the y axis at 20 years. That makes our visual. That makes that centers the the data much better than before. So now you can see this this trend towards improved life expectancy. And so what we're going to do, although you can you have to you have to slide it, but this is just the worksheet. Only you're never going to actually present this itself, the worksheet itself. You're going to put this in a dashboard. So I'm going to do that right now, just to show you. The visualization where it's com where it's coming from. So we can, let's say we remove this. Push this up a little bit so we can all fit in one page. And we're also last thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on the x axis and hit rotate label to make the to make the years easier to read. And you can see here now that if your end user has a easy insight into what into what countries have a higher life ex average life expectancy than the United States and lower, and also compared to the world. That is it for this tutorial, and I'll see you again in the next episode.